WTC 3293 Evaluation Board to rapidly prototype a precision temperature control system using the WTC 3243 temperature controller. The WTC is a compact analog proportional integral control loop that easily handles variable operating conditions with a stability of better than 0 0.0009 degrees C. It has been designed into electro-optical systems, airborne instrumentation, spectroscopic monitors, and medical diagnostic equipment. The WTC works with thermistors, RTDs, and ICs such as the LM335 and AD590. Always observe ESD precautions when handling the WTC, Evaluation Board, and Thermoelectric. For more information on ESD, see the application note on our website. Before attempting to run the WTC, determine if it will operate within the SOA or safe operating area. Our website also has a video tutorial on using the online SOA calculation tool. We will use the following equipment to configure the WTC for 1.5 amp operation using dual power supplies, a 10 kilo ohm thermistor, and a thermoelectric. Before installing the temperature controller on the evaluation board, we will configure the board for use. The jumpers and switches are on the underside of the board. VS drives the output stage while VDD powers the control electronics. The factory default is to separate the two power supply inputs. For this, we need to move the power select jumper to the 2 position. To use the onboard trim pot for the set point, the VSET jumper must be in the T position. Set the sensor type to thermistor with 100 microamps bias current. The sensor gain jumper allows us to amplify sensor voltage. Since the sensor voltage is in the acceptable range, we use the 1x position and the sensor signal will pass through without amplification. Now we will calculate the proportional gain and integrator time constant. For more information on optimizing control, refer to the TechNote Optimizing te Thermoelectric Control Systems on our website. To adjust the p-gain, use an ohmmeter to measure the resistance between test points TP5 and TP6. Adjust the p-gain trim pot to the calculated resistance. To adjust the I-term, use an ohmmeter to measure the resistance between test points TP6 and TP7. Adjust the I-term trim pot to the calculated resistance. Next, install the WTC on the board. Match up the notch on the WTC with the silk screen on the PCB. Align the pins with the sockets. Press firmly to seat the WTC. Make sure that none of the pins were bent during insertion before continuing. Attach the snap-in standoffs. A heat sink and or fan is mandatory when driving currents higher than 500 milliamps or operating above plus 5 volts. Now attach the WEV301 thermal solution kit and connect the fan leads to the plus and minus fan positions on the terminal block. Secure with a small flathead screwdriver. The fan connects to the VDD supply, not VS. For lower noise operation, the fan leads may be connected directly to a separate power supply compatible with the fan. Use TB1 for VS and the power jack for VDD. Use P ground for the power return. The COM terminal on the WTC3293 is not intended to act as a power connection, but as a low noise ground reference for monitor signals. The limit A and limit B trim pots independently adjust the heat and cool current limits from 0 to a full 2.2 amps. Calculate the voltage at the limits corresponding to the desired limit current, I lim. Once the limit values are determined, toggle the enable to on to apply power to VDD and VS. No load required. Rotate the limb trim pot and monitor the respective voltage at limb A and limb B on TB3. Use COM as ground reference. Turn the trim pots counterclockwise to reduce the limits or clockwise to increase them. With output disabled, connect the thermoelectric to out A and out B as shown. TB3 includes lines for externally monitoring the temperature set point voltage, set T, and the actual temperature sensor voltage levels, at T. Both the set T and act T voltages are measured with respect to the common terminal. With output enabled, measure the actual and set point temperatures using the monitors on the evaluation board. To adjust the set T, with the voltmeter attached to the set T and comm wires, turn the set T trim pot screw. Rotate the trim pot clockwise to increase or counterclockwise to decrease the voltage. When controlling correctly, 
the set T matches the act T at the desired temperature. That's it. Now you're ready to run your temperature controller. There's more technical information in the data sheet, which can be found on our website, along with app notes, tech notes, and FAQs. Our goal is to help you succeed. If you have any questions, contact our technical support engineers. Consider us an extension of your team.